Well, it seems every week we hear about new ways to use stem cells to treat disease. But how about using stem cells for back pain? News 4's Dr. Peter Ostro joins us now with a procedure that might one day offer hope to millions. Doctor? You know, most cases of back pain are caused by problems with discs, the cushions between the bones of the spine shown here in blue. Most treatments are not very successful. But what if you could rejuvenate a disc with your own stem cells? John Lindell has had disc problems for several years. After her daughter, Abby, was born, things got worse. That was very frustrating because I wasn't able to really carry her. Because even as a, you know, eight-pound infant, I wasn't able to carry her for prolonged times in a carrier or anything like that. Jonna's husband is Bill's kicker, Ryan Lindell. That's how she met Dr. Andrew Cappuccino, who had treated Kevin Everett for his spine injury. Dr. Cappuccino noted a typical abnormality on Jonna's MRI scan. Normal discs look white like these because they contain water. You can see that those three discs have turned black, dark, they've lost their water content, so they're losing their ability to be a shock absorber, and they're beginning to bulge out into the spinal canal. He's been helping develop a technique of removing a patient's stem cells from bone marrow and injecting them into damaged discs. Here you can see the needles that were used to inject them into Jana's discs. The needles were removed, band-aids were placed, she went to the recovery room, and an hour and 15 minutes later she was on her way home. That was only nine days ago, but there's already been daily improvement. I feel like I can get up in the morning and I notice a, a noticeable difference than before the surgery. It will likely take months before the full benefit is achieved, but many patients have done very well. We see statistically significant decreases almost back to the normal range in patients that have had disabling pain for years. I'm happy to be part of something that I really think is going to be big in the future. This procedure is done all in one treatment. The bone marrow is removed, the stem cells are separated and then injected into the discs. It's not right for everyone and it isn't covered by insurance. But if the long-term outcomes live up to Dr. Cappuccino's expectations, it will probably become a very popular treatment. For News 4, I'm Dr. Peter Ostrow of the UB Medical School. Thank you, Doctor. Well